Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have some happy mail to show you. Um, these are from two individuals. So, let's go through this one first. I am excited about this. I've never seen this book before, so this is going to be interesting. Um to see what it looks like. This is from Amy Buchholz. Thank you so much. These gifts are just for sending you guys my color charts and you definitely don't have to send me something for those but I'm glad that you appreciate them. So this is called Dot Mandala Coloring Book for Adult Relaxation. Doesn't that look pretty? Mm, love all the rainbow colors. And this is the back of the book. This Dot Mandala Coloring Book has many meditative and therapeutic benefits such as focus your attention, calming your mind, connect with yourself, free yourself, rebuild yourself, and create a relationship with yourself. So let's take a look. Okay, it's on cream colored paper and it is Amazon paper, but it's it's nicer Amazon paper. So this is the title page and nameplate page. We do have a color test page. And, oh, okay. Now, either this is printed backwards or it is designed for a left-handed person. Not sure if it's a misprint or not, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, neat. It's kind of like those, uh, the dot, uh, what is it called? Dot painting, dot mandala painting, which I think are just gorgeous. So these are all dot mandalas. You could use pretty much any mediums. Oh, isn't that cute? Can you see it? I don't have my lights on up here. Let me turn them on. I only had my light up above, so. Behind me, my ceiling light, so that's why it was shadowy. Okay. But yeah, I could see my gel pens in here, water-based markers, alcohol markers, pencil. The, uh, I think, ultra-fine tip like Sharpies and Bix would be neat in here. It's very smooth paper, a little bit of a tooth, so I do think pencils would work okay in here. Isn't that cool? Thank you, Amy. I love this. Ooh, look at that. Definitely could see a rainbow colored one in that. Well, all of these. Oh, I love it. More detailed one. Fine liner time. <laughs> and I definitely would be leaving the background plain white. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to color around all them circles. Plus there's no frame around it anyhow. Oh, I like that too. You could see alternating colors. This is cool. Right up my alley. And then we have a blank sheet at the back. Oh, very neat. Very, very neat. Like I said, I have not seen this book. Um, so I don't know if it was from Amazon. I do believe so. Um, all of these books, I will leave links down below in case you want to check them out too. Thank you again, Amy. That was so sweet of you to send me this. I really appreciate it. So, these three books are from 
Shalice Stevens. Don't know what's in that one yet. Didn't want to open it and ruin the surprise. I've been wanting this book, believe it or not. I didn't have it. <laughs> it's Maria Trolle's Twilight Garden, and I'm sure everybody's familiar with this book. It's a hard-covered book. Isn't that gorgeous? The back. And this is the English version. I can't remember what the Swedish version is. that the one that's Blomster Mandala? I believe. So, for those few of you who have not seen this book, it's on beautiful, beautiful paper. Double-sided, unfortunately, but it is a gorgeous book with absolutely fantastic paper. Some are black background. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, makes me want to get my pencils out. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Yes. Oh, her books are my favorite out of all the hard-covered books. Look at that. That's so cute. Mmm. Love it. All right. So then the next one is a colored by number book. Yay. <laughs> Could never have too many color by number books. This one is stained glass coloring book. Nature, landscapes, animals, flowers, and more. It's by Blossom Coloring. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the colors. Mm. And the back of the book is just plain. So let's take a look at this one. Title page and nameplate page. Here we have the color palette. There's only 15 colors, so that's nice. It is quite light line work. I would say it's more gray. Um, thin lines. Not overly detailed. I like that it's in a frame. does have the background as number 10, which is brown. Oh, look at that. Now, it is kind of mosaic because there is the lines in between. So, you know what I'll be doing? I'll be uh, coloring those in with silver gel pen first. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. And because they are single-sided, you could use alcohol marker. And I do notice the color palette is the same for each picture. Look at that beautiful butterfly. So that's nice. I love the fact the color palette's the same. Ooh. For you owl lovers. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at the parrots. Or parrots. Bella. Stop. Bob's gone, so then she always wants to come in the room when I'm recording. Otherwise, she's fine being out in the living room, but she doesn't like being out there by herself. Another owl. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to have to put a couple of these books on the side to color in right away. Mm, toucan. Hmm, that one, the color palette does look different because the other ones all start with red. Yeah. So, that one is different. Some fish. What is this one? Hmm. 
Not sure what that one is. If it goes this way or... The numbers are extremely small. Which is good and bad. You know, those of you who don't like to see the numbers show through, these wouldn't show through quite as much. But they are harder to see, of course. What is that? Koala? Oh, yeah. Ooh, hot air balloon. So the vast majority of them have the same color palette. Oh, so pretty. A lot of birds in here. Oh, it does go this way. It's a seahorse. And that's all. And we do have blank sheet at the back to match up your colors. <gasps> Very cool. Oh, love it, love it. I should look for that picture and color it first. <laughs> <coughs> all right. Let's look at the surprise. And again, these are all from Shelly's. These bags are always so pretty. I have a few of these now. Not sure what I'm going to do with them, but they're too pretty to throw away. Oh, gorgeous. Wow, they really wrap these up nice. <laughs> oh, yay. If uh, you've seen any of my videos in the past, I have a number of these circle mosaics and square mosaics uh, coloring books. I do not have this one. This is Skull Art Collection and their mosaic color by numbers. So on the back has the color palette. Oh my gosh, this is another one I want to keep out and do. <laughs> oh, so cool. Now this would be a hard one to do a flip through of because of course you can't see what the image is. This particular uh, book with the circle mosaics um, is one that has these smaller circles. Um, some of these have a little bit larger circles, so they're not quite as difficult. But, of course, the smaller the circle, the less pixelated the picture. And, yeah, these are a lot of fun. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yay. Oh, my gosh. What do I color out of first? They do give you a color test page in the beginning. And here is the color palette again, so you can match up your mediums here. This is published by Kodomo Publishing, K-O-D-O-M-O. -O -O. And there is the title page. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely nice to have a colored color palette on the back and I believe I have um, colors picked out for these books already with a number of uh, fine liners so yeah plus I bought and you know swatched out a few new packs of fine liners a few different brands so I'll have to use those in here too very cool oh my gosh I am so excited <laughs> oh wow okay so this is the skull circle mosaics book the color by number stained glass 
and Twilight Garden from Chalice. And then, oh, the Dot Mandala book from Amy. Oh, thank you guys so much again. It is so appreciated. That was just so nice of you. I love every single one of these. Oh yay! So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these on the side. I have to color out of them. <laughs> In the living room, they go. <laughs> So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me flip through my Happy Mail books. They made me so happy. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.